and if we are, then we are all inducted as a post master. We take a vote to support the freedom members. Madam Bharati, we are here to support you. You are sure, like what I mentioned, you are going to create a very good impression of something. We are here to make your process better. Congratulations. Before I call upon the second speaker who is attempting his CC9 speech, I would like to call his evaluator, Mr. Sakran Raju, to give a project management. Good evening, Toastmasters. Good evening. I'm glad to be here to evaluate project tonight. What's the way covered by Toastmasters Raju? This project guideline says, what's the way is meant to adapt your viewpoint or ideas are to take some action. Appeal to the audience interest. Use logic and emotion to support your position. Avoid using notes. Time allotted 5 to 7 minutes. He is young but mature. He is the man on mission to become a competent communicator in the second week of May, rolling out the speeches week of the week. He is the man to be watched among the Toastmaster fraternity during the coming days. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with a big round of applause our Vice President of Public Relations, Mr. Rapun. National Crime Records Bureau, 17,368 farmers killed themselves in the year 2009. Death, failing crops, are a few reasons among the many that drove them to such an extent. But at the heart of all of this is a central reason, water shortage. Maharashtra, India's third largest state is currently facing its worst drought in the last 40 years. Toastmasters and guests, water is a fundamental requirement for the survival of any organism. If you go thousands of years in the past, you will find that civilizations thrive on the banks of rivers. Pick up any civilization we like and chances are that we would find them near a lake or a river. The Egyptian civilization, they thrived along the river Nile. The Konkan civilization, they thrived along the river Saraswati. This goes to prove that if we did not have these rivers, you and me probably wouldn't be standing on this earth today. I once had the opportunity to speak to the owner of Tom's Cafe. To those of you who stay in the Nara Lagi it is the equivalent of Gilgiri Sukhamata. He told me that he prefers to stay in his 2 BHK apartment and would rather not shift to an even more luxurious 3 BHK apartment only because there is a guarantee of water supply. The situation is a lot, lot worse than we thought it was. Millions of people do not have water to drink, let alone irrigate their fields. Our lakes and our rivers are drying up. The water level in dams are slowly going down. Groundwater is depleting. I heard that people have to go to depths of up to 2 kilometers just to hit water. To give you an understanding of what 2 kilometers is, it is more than half the distance between Banjara and the Hebbal flyover. Imagine going that entire distance straight into the ground. A report in 2009 said that by 2030, the demand for water in some developing countries is going to exceed supply by 50%. It's 
started to make a change. For you see, say that you and I, our murderers, would not be far from the truth. Our irresponsible actions of wasting water has driven millions of people to death. It is time for change. And change comes with taking that first step. And that first step is not difficult. Can I ask you how many of you have traveled by the Indian Railways? A raise of hands. Most of you? If you have used their restrooms, you will notice that they have a different type of tap. You can lift it up for the water to come out. But what this does is that only when you need to wash your hands and use that water, you hold the tap up. You're going to get a bar of soap, or you're rinsing your mouth, washing your face. At those points of time, water is not running. It's not going absolute waste down these drains. To install a rainwater harvesting system in a 30 by 40 square feet site will cost you around 10,000 rupees. Bangalore city receives about 1,000 millimeters of rainfall every year. And that is over 60 to 70 days. Now, on a 100 square feet roof, you will be able to collect 97,000 liters of water in a single year. This will supply you with water for not two days, for not 20 days, but for 200 days of the year. That is the amount of water that you can save let us teach our children the importance of saving water. My mother tells me, eat all your food, because there are people outside who are starving. But not once have I heard a parent say, don't waste any water, because there are people out there who are thirsty. It is small steps, it is small drops of water that get a bucket full. Ladies and gentlemen, at the rate that we are going, we are going to end up as nomads in a desert that engulfs the entire planet. We will have to walk with our families in caravans, searching for water. No matter how deep down you dig, you will not find water. Your cactuses will no longer have water. You will not have trees. And for all you know, you will perish before those trees. Let us take that step. Let us save the world. Let us create a brighter future, future for the children of tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you for the enlightenment, Mr. Kapoor. We want to contribute to your class, so what we are going to do is today. We are not going to drink water, we are going to drink coal. <laughs> so I request uh, Saad and uh, Ms. Priyanka to help to distribute the cups to each one of the toast monsters and fill up with the coal. Thank you. We should uh, please join me until the next speaker comes over his class. Uh, the board of